In this video I'm going to give a brief overview of what type 1 and type 2 errors are. Now of course type 1 and type 2 errors occur in hypothesis testing. Now a type 1 error, also known as a false positive, is if the null hypothesis is rejected when it's actually true. As you can see, that would be a big problem. So, the probability uh, that a type 1 error will occur, we refer to as alpha, which you'll notice is the significance level. Of course, the um, person in charge of doing the test chooses the value of the significance level, so you get to choose how precise you are by increasing the amount or decreasing the amount of type 1 errors that can possibly occur by affecting the uh, significance level here. So, for example, if alpha equals 0 0.05, there'll be a 5% chance of a type 1 error, which is straightforward. Type 2 errors we refer to as false negatives. So, what a type 2 error is, is if the null hypothesis is accepted when it's actually false. So what we have here are false positives where the hypothesis is true but we make a false assumption about it and we assume that it's not true. So true, false, false positive and a false negative. So if something's wrong, the null hypothesis, then the only way we can be wrong about, about it with our assumption is if we assume it to be correct. So once you get your head around false positives and false negatives, it's very straightforward. Uh, the probability of a type 2 error we refer to as beta. So naturally the aim when we're conducting hypothesis tests is for both alpha and beta to be as small as feasibly possible. As small uh, as we can make it while still running a, uh, a test that's worth running. Now at the bottom I include a table here as a brief overview of the decisions that we make and the type errors that we get. So if the null hypothesis is true and we don't reject the null hypothesis, this is correct, the probability of that is 1 minus alpha. However, if the hypothesis is true and we reject it, this is a false positive, which is a type 1 error, and the probability of that is a significance level alpha, and it follows for this here as well. Uh, thank you for watching.